Hi, this is Alan Shea, and we are so thrilled that you're here tonight with us. We have our inaugural event taking place tonight here in Tanzania. And I am so thrilled because our first guest of the night is True Royalty. Can you believe that? True Royalty. That's how I can tell you, True Royalty. And guess what? His name is Prince Alan, just like mine. What do you think about that? Oh, come on, you guys. Come on, give us some love. <laughs> but this is a true prince from Nigeria, Prince Alan himself. Can you share with the viewers how important is it having this type of event co-op here in Tanzania? I'm so excited to be here today for this special occasion. It's important that we brought this event to Africa because we have to be able to show black excellence globally. And what better place to start than in Tanzania? So, you know what? You're so humble. <laughs> oh, you have to give us that motherly love from Africa. Share with us the real effect of Prince Allen and Hoppa being here tonight getting ready to party. Absolutely. I came all the way from Nigeria, Naka Kingdom, which is the oldest kingdom in West Africa. It is known for its vibrant culture, its land, it's known for iron production as the first country to move the global society from the Stone Age to the Iron Age. And right now we're in Tanzania where they have Tanzanite. And this is a, this is a jewel that uh, we're going to see a lot of, especially with the jewels that have come all the way from the United States. And that's the HAP Awards. Now nah, that's what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? What? We're going to hear from the, the Prince himself the whole journey and the reason why we want you viewers to understand the commitment of this journey is because it's the consummation of Hapa and the motherland, Africa, finally connecting in one space. And that is because Hapa stands for Hollywood African Prestigious Award Around the World. 
but it started in Hollywood, and we are now, reality-wise, meeting a true prince who can really educate us as to the power of the motherland and how it's added value to all of us, and now we can collectively come together and raise awareness, especially for three generations. Can I say that, Prince Allen? Amen. Okay. The reason I came here was because I want to see Africa be lifted up. I want to see black people in general be looked upon as the strong man of the world. And what better place than to come here and leverage the power of Tanzania's resources to create a true resource-based economy. I believe that because Africa supplies the world with 60% of its resources, we have an opportunity to lift Africa with those very resources by leveraging and harnessing the power of those resources. This man has made my night. If we don't need anybody else, you're not going to get you're not going to get it from anybody else but a true person of Africa, a prince who has shared with you in this interview the essence of needing a partnership, especially coming from the West Coast. Am I correct on that? Am I right, Prince? You got to bring them. You know, I came all the way from Florida today just to make this event. This event was so important because we are trying our best to let the world know about what black excellence looked like. And there couldn't have been a better event than the HAP Awards to make this reality a dream come true. Part of my job as Crown Prince of Not Kingdom is to project to the world the beauty and the essence of what Africa has to offer. So I'm very happy to be here for this wonderful occasion and I hope you join us again next year for this same event and hopefully we'll have it here in Africa as well. Well, all, all I will say for those of you who are watching us tonight, we're opening a whole new chapter with history, with merging the diaspora with America, and we're starting from the top down Absolutely. with the Prince of Nigeria. So I just want to thank you, sir. I appreciate you. I hope I can grow up and be like you, you know that? I'm trying to be like you <laughs> when I grow no, up. No, 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 I don't think that. So. You know, I want to be the real prince. And since you wear that, that crown, that crown uh, all I would share is you heard truly uh, articulate, uh, well-spoken, and obviously well-traveled if you can, you know, jump on a plane and get here in a couple of hours. So, you know, he, he's rolling. So share with uh, all of you if they want, really want to follow you and, and see you're, you're a legitimate prince, give them some IG information. Well, the first thing you can do is you can visit our website at Not Kingdom. Not Kingdom will give you a lot of historical references about where the kingdom started, where it is, and where we're trying to take it for the future. The other thing is you can find me on all of the social media platforms at Alan Ellison, uh, Facebook, Alan Ellison Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and any other platform that, that, that exists because we have a, a real um, responsibility to make sure that Africa is uplifted, but also branded in the proper light. We need for people to understand that the people are beautiful, the culture is beautiful, and it's very rich. And that DNA that exists in me, it exists literally in every person on the planet. So play your part, do your thing, and come to Africa and enjoy the same things that we enjoy, and that is good food, good culture, rich history, and a vibrant society. You heard it. Join us, please. This is Alan Shea signing out. I'm gonna I'm hang out with this gentleman all night, so hopefully it can rub off on me. Thank you. Bye. Wow.